Hey guys, welcome back in the vault for the first ever podcast. Pocket Pussy Podcast. There you go. That's that's the new podcast, the Triple P's. Yeah. Too bad we can't make that on Red Dead because it's inappropriate. It is inappropriate. Anyway, um, welcome to the first podcast where we sit around and talk about stuff that's happening. Like such as our schedule. We went through a whole week of our schedule. How do you think it, how do you think it went, Nathan? Uh, pretty good. We found mm. out that the kids show up on Minecraft. Uh, well, and we got a lot of views. <laughs> well, <laughs> not I really. I mean, we got a lot more views than we did the first got a time. A lot more likes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but um, so let, let's just start with uh, today, which is Tuesday. The podcast podcast came out. Um, then next day is Wednesday, as Wacky Wednesday, where we just play a bunch of one-off games. We don't do more than two episodes. Did we do that? Yes. Oh yeah, we did. Huh? We did PewDiePie. We Pew 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 Anyway, <laughs> that was. That was a game. That was a game. Um, there are going to we be a bunch of one-offs. We're going to we exp- explain Force. them. We did go to the Air Force. On live action. That is live action. We, yeah. we saw Elon Musk. We went to the Air Force. Neat. Um, really quick, let's backtrack to Wacky Wednesday. Wacky Wednesday is a random game that we find where we play one type of game. That's it. We may do like one episode. If you're lucky and we like the game, maybe two episodes. But for now, one episode. Because oh. I, uh. I ain't going back to Pew Doo Doo. Uh. Then life stop making the thing jump. <laughs> Sorry, then, I just had a voice crack. That's fine. Then um, uh, Thursday Third is day. live action. We got live action skits. We have a new skit coming up. Um, so that's gonna tie into something I'm gonna bring in up later. Yeah. So get ready for that. Friday. <clears throat> Friday is Fright Day. Boo. Where we play spoopy games. Now, um, we already plan on doing holiday stuff. So around the time of Halloween, I feel like Fright Day might just overtake the week it'd be week day it'd be, it'd be, f- it'd week be the week day. <laughs> the week all day every day <laughs> week boys for the weekdays anyway uh following that up is saturday which is co-pilot where me and nathan play the same game on one controller Ooh. through two controllers that was it, fun that was pretty fun i so actually I'm, like I'm, that one i'm excited for that to start off you guys like it because you know you know yeah i don't think you really see that nowadays huh the the just the people co-oping on a game on one controller, I don't think you see that now and then. No, not anymore. It's kind of a dying. It's kind breed. of like play multiplayer. Yeah. We are playing multiplayer, but on one controller, so. That is accurate. We might play uh, like Apex Legends or I don't know a battle royale of any sort. Just to see if we can get a win. Just see if we can get a win by both by existing. being on That's the same controller. Be cancer. What a day. Anyway, following up Sunday. Now, what we said Sunday was was Sekiro Day, but we got tired of that because Sekiro. It's uh, you want to explain it, Nathan? It destroys the friendships. Yeah. To put it the 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 fucking the way the, we to set the line. We argued a lot during that 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 play playthrough. Yeah. We hated it, um, because we didn't feel like there was enough content coming because we'd get stuck on bosses, and then because we'd get stuck on bosses, we'd argue with each other. And we'd be tried mode too as and well. And so we we we'd, no... we'd get pissed, and then by the end of the day, we wouldn't, we wouldn't want to record anymore. Yeah. So, uh, done with that or sliding that. We might come back maybe one day when we're really good, but yikes. Nathan's going to play it on his own. Probably. Yeah. Uh, anyway. I do enjoy that game. He does like that game. Following up. Hold on. You ready for this? That's for the fans. That was for Nate Dog. That was for Nate Dog. You know, you I know you, Nate Dog. You love those burps. He's now in a video. Again. Shout out. Any, <laughs> anyway. There's, there's All right. Yeah. All right. Um, so, we changed Sunday from Sunday, Sekiro Day. To Sunday Fun Day, games that we actually enjoy playing. I'm going to crack cold one. By an unbranded name of soda. Slash maybe bubble water. Sly Pep. Anyways. All right, you just, um, you just told them. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, so Sunday Fun Day is a game that we just kind of enjoy. We're thinking about putting a playlist up there right now. Like, a, like an actual playthrough. Yeah. Yeah. And that game. We're gonna wins. have a playlist for every category that we have We're because trying. we love you guys and we want to put them in the actual order that they should be in. Yes, Sekiro is done for a while. We actually Sorry do. About that. Speaking of Sekiro, before I continue from Sekiro, we have another episode of Sekiro coming out. No. Yes, yes we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, it's coming out Thursday, <laughs> so that might be giving a few things yeah, away. It's kind of an odd day, but it's an odd day. But but, but it's uh, Thursday. You'll you'll see you'll see. Anyway. So we changed Sunday to Fun Day. We already told you that. The first Let's Play we're thinking about doing on Sunday Fun Day is on the Switch. 
Yeah. yeah. You, you know what Switch that is? You know what game that is? Yeah, let's go Pikachu or Eevee. Either let's go Eevee we because... We can't afford Pikachu. That's We're the broke. better mascot, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I love Eevee. Eevee's my favorite. I hate them both. Uh, nah. I hate them both. I, I, I don't hate Eevee because she, she just reminds me of a little doggo. I like their evolutions better than their cunts. Well, everyone does. Yeah. I mean, what? unless you're a little kid. What's your Not favorite Pikachu you. evolution? Is it Raichu? Because that's the only one you can say. Would you evolve your Pikachu if you had one? No, my, 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 my Mimikyu. All right. Um, <laughs> anyway, what's your favorite evolution? Mine's, yeah. uh... You have one? Yeah, mine's Umbreon. Umbreon. Oh, yeah, the Dark Boy. Yeah. Mine would probably be uh, Leafeon slash Great Glaceon. I like them both. Yeah, I, I, would, I would have to say Umbreon with... The shiny version. Oh, the shiny version is definitely cool. That's probably my favorite shiny Eevee. Yeah. Anyway, well, we, we could throw pictures up of all those dogs that we yeah, just spoke yeah, of. Yeah, Anyway, so yeah, let's go. Uh, Pikachu's happening. Eevee's happening. Yeah. Played ya. Fun fact, can't evolve the main Pokemon. So, worthless. It's here. Also, it's different. Different what? Violin. Violin. Different what? It's a different type of Eevee. Yeah. It's a friend Eevee, so you can't even evolve it. Whoa, it doesn't matter. And... Battle? And its skin is light. Whoa. Yeah, that sounds racist. It's just a lighter skin, Eevee. Oh, that's pretty and neat. You can't, you can't evolve it. It's it, almost a shiny, except not. It's pretty dumb. Um, Oops, just smacked you with my hand there. Get smacked. Anyway. Ow. So, after we do that, we're going to replace it with some stuff. But I'm, we're, we're going to lead into that. We'll come back to Sunday Fun Day. Once we... Uh, we'll come back to Sunday Fun Day. Once. Anyway. We... What? Get bigger. We we plan to put uh, intro and outro uh, of our videos. Mm. More of an animation. Yes, animation. Of a vault because yes. you know it would fit us. If I'm... any of you know how to do animation, hit us up. Yeah, hit us up. Hit us up. Really. I would suggest using Instagram link in the description rather than our Twitter because. Who, God, know, who, who goes on Twitter now, dude? Who does Twitter? Instagram's dying. Old farts. No, I'm just We're kidding. lazy and don't want to put it on Twitter. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah, so yeah, hit us up if you, we might pay, question mark. Anyway, um, let's continue down the list. We got Monday, which is Minecraft Monday for the children, the people, the kids that wanted I, to have their own day. I mean, it's not for children, it's just because yeah. we're running out of ideas. It's for children and people in their 20s who want to have nostalgia. Yeah. Because that's... Because we, 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 we took a break from Minecraft for a little bit. I, I mean, didn't. well, I didn't. Tommy didn't because Tommy didn't. loves Minecraft. I don't so like die Minecraft. For Minecraft. I wouldn't die for Minecraft. And uh, so, He's yeah, alive. it's been a while since I have played it. If you watch the Monday episode, I get you should go check that out. If you, wa if you watch the Monday episode with the 10-year anniversary, you see that I have struggled because I don't remember how to play the game at all. Because I haven't played it in forever. Well, it doesn't help that they released it for, like, one Minecraft for all systems. And then they decided to go, oh, hey, controllers, you want to drop an item and it's B? Now it's pressing on the analog stick for this one game out of all the other games that we made. It's dumb. They changed controls. So all right. it doesn't help. But that's that. And then, and then we're back to Tuesday, pod, Podcast Tuesday. Yep. Now, if you have, if you have any suggestions <laughs> on what we should play, yeah. just hit us up. Like, literally, we'll play anything yeah. as long as, like, Comment, it's not porn. I would rather see this, or con we can still play porn games. No, I'm not going to blur out all that crap. Well. I, I can't I can't take a vagina slip and be like, oh, yeah, whoops, I didn't mean, ooh. And then, yeah, that's banned. That's, that's a lot of editing. We won't get banned. <laughs> we'll just flag our video and take yeah, it down. Yeah, they'll, they'll fucking copyright or strike copyright us. Copyright strike? They'll strike us. Yeah. But then we could just take it down and then it wouldn't be there, wouldn't it? Isn't that how it works No, or I don't think that's how it works anymore. I don't care. That's only like certain circumstances if they like you. We'll, we'll YouTube go, doesn't like us because we'll go on Twitch. we're bad for their environment. We'll go on Twitch and play it live. That doesn't make any sense either. I, the, I, you want to know what really grinds my gears? What? Grinds my gears with Nathan. Um, pop up on screen. Anyways, what really grinds my gears is uh, that they make YouTube children and then they make YouTube. And YouTube is because they have a YouTube child one, don't yeah, they? they? Yeah, yeah, and they have YouTube child zone. which then we get demonetized, which we don't get demonetized because we don't we don't have that much many views. But we they they demonetize the big accounts for cussing, even though that it's YouTube, not YouTube children. My so. favorite my favorite thing about that is if you go and download that app, you ch child YouTube or whatever it is, and you go ahead and you uh, load up into it. It just it's just a bunch of like learning stuff like here's how to count or learn your alphabets followed up by Spider Man and Elsa shit. 
Just Neat. a ton of Spider-Man and Elsa shit. Neat. Yeah, all those videos are there because they're child friendly. Hmm. Just you know, child Spider-Man, Elsa. They're the favorite. They don't do anything risque at all. Anyway, let's get let's let's go back um to the 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 the, the, the list of their our shit our schedule. So it might be done. Well, yeah, it is done, but oh, I yeah. want to come back to Sunday Fun Day. So we do have a playlist, a Let's Play pl- planned, way down the line. It's one of my favorite games. And it's not even out yet. Okay, We're playing Pokemon Sun and Sword and Shield. We're going to play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm not going to beat around it. I'm fucking excited for that game. Nathan's excited for the legendary about that game. Yeah. We're going to play Sword on the channel. And in the background, I'm going to play Shield by myself. So I should know what I'm doing. Now, here's the thing. Don't know if you noticed this. In every Pokemon game, any it's cut up into sections and grids. And you can walk in an area and the camera's forced from one direction. Like, it's like, it's from the front to, the, like, you can see everything. You can turn the camera in this game. It's an open world turn the camera in this game. So I'm afraid that it's going to be very open world, and we're going to get fucking confused on the Let's Play. So I'm going to be playing Shield in the I'm background. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for I'm it. Excited it looks amazing. Um, we're going to end some dude's career because he's undefeated champion. What an idiot. Leon, I'm coming for that booty. You're going to lose your job because I like your cape. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're that's I'm really excited for. I am really am excited for that. Um, new game coming soon. Um, I think we're both excited for it, kind of. Yeah, I'm actually excited for that game, actually. Right. Um, I do like Pokemon when it first comes out, and then And then it, it dies dwindles. off, and then I sit there and play it in the background. Yeah. I can't, I can't replay things that much. I really can't. Oh, I'll fucking... I'm actually planning on... Um, my previous game, Unless not... I'm going to tournaments. What? Unless I'm going to tournaments, I can replay okay. it many times. That's fair. Um, but currently, I'm not talking about Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, because those don't count as actual... Gener- they're, they're not even, like, remakes. They're just... They're, like, off-brand. Like, they're, they go into, like, the category of Pokemon Snap and all that garbage. Um, so the previous one, which is Pokemon Sun and Moon... I didn't play Ultra Moon or Ultra Sun, but Pokemon Sun and Moon, I... It was a few Pokemons from the original generations off um, from getting the national decks filled. So probably Shield, I'm probably going to try and fill up the national decks. So that's going to be me playing and catching everything again. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I won't want to die. I'm gonna, I love it. Yeah. But um. anyway, so I cycled in from our schedule to Pokemon, which is the new game coming soon. Probably yeah. this October. I don't think they've announced it yet. To cycle into. Even newer games! E3 is happening tomorrow! E3's or today! This week. It's happening today! This week. Because it starts Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but it starts today. Which, if you guys don't know, every schedule, everything we have scheduled, we try to record the day before. So right now it's Monday, Minecraft came out, we're filming the podcast. Tomorrow, Nathan's going to be a bit busy, so we're going to record Wacky Wednesday tonight. That's, bad, that's a bad uh, example. But like every, every previous thing, we record the day... Uh, before and then the next day we upload and release it, or we we schedule it to be uploaded and released the next day. Yeah. Um, it does add stress, but it also is easier than caring. Yeah, it's easier than I don't getting care. home and trying to hurry to record yeah. it instead of you know, I mean, get to take your times. Plus, having a different having a schedule really helps. But having a schedule helps. What about E three? E three. What's There's first? new games. You want to talk about what's first? Well, one I'm excited for. Um. What is it, Thursday? Which is Nintendo's day, because I'm going to learn more about Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right. I brought it back to Pokemon. I'm so excited for that shit. I'm going to be there that day. I, I can watch it with you. You will probably end up watching it with me. And then me. I'll We're probably also get as watch... hyped as you. I'm always And hyped. if not, I'll get fucking hyped, because I might, cause I actually right. like Nintendo, because they kind of do their own thing, and they don't give, give a fuck about anyone else. That's true. And then... That's what I like about them. <laughs> it's then... not like Xbox. They're like, oh my god, they have something over there I want. Give me. That's true. Um... So Tuesday is PlayStation, um, Wednesday is Xbox, and then Thursday is Nintendo. So Xbox, you have work, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you can't. You can't see it. No, I can. You can. Oh, yes, it I ends can. right when you got to go to work, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. So you might miss the last bit, but I'll probably end up watching it still. Um, but we're definitely gonna check out everything today, which is Tuesday. Weird. Well, Hyper Bowl. Just told them. I mean, yes. I told him our secrets. Yeah, it's, so it's tomorrow. We'll just check it out tomorrow. Why we'll not? check it out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and then I'm really excited for Thursday, and Nathan's excited for Wednesday, because what game comes out Wednesday? 
Or they're announcing, so we might get a trailer, which we definitely will get at least a teaser. Wait, what? Wait. What game? Well, Wednesday is Xbox. What is game it? comes out on Xbox that you're excited I for? It was Tuesday's. No, was Xbox. Tuesday's PlayStation, I think. I thought Wednesday. I'll was, look it up. You, you talk about the you know, game. Uh, talk about the game you're excited Gears for. Gears of War. Yeah, it's Gears of War. 5. Yeah, Gears of War Five. I was actually excited to see that. Um, reason why is because uh, I mean, Locus and uh, you know Marcus and the direction they're trying to go with it. I hope they don't bring back the swarm because that's annoying. I didn't play the campaign in Gears of War 4, as you can tell, so I don't know exactly what goes on. I know that Marcus showed up in it, but that doesn't really matter to me. But Gears of War 5, I'm excited about because I actually like Gears of War 5. I mean, they're probably going to also bring Halo, which I'm excited about as well because Halo is my game. Uh, for a uh, story for flashback is I used to play Halo when I was like 5, so... Now that I'm older, it'd be nice to play Halo and actually have a good Halo. Hopefully they can make good Halo because their Halos recently are trash, garbage. And you just keep talking about but, um, exclusives. But gear, Yeah, well, of course I'm going to talk about exclusives because that's all I know about right now. That's but Gears of War 5 I am excited about because, you know, it's cool. It's life. It's it's what I like playing. Um, oh. I like gnashing people in the face with a shotgun and watch them explode. What's yeah, up? that is pretty cool. I like trying to change all people. Anyway, let's talk about the schedule. Tuesday, June 11th is in Hindo. What? Yeah. Apparently we got it wrong. Uh, Monday, June 10th is Square Enix. They're talking about stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to find it. 7th to the 9th is what it says. EA Plays runs from 7th to 9th. Monday, June 10th, E3 2019 returns its uh, itself runs hmm. Tuesday... To Thursday. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm confused. Okay, yeah, I'm lost on I'm what's confused. going on here. I thought it would be Xbox first. Anyway, you talk, You brought up Halo, which uh, we might see more about Halo Infinite. Yeah, exactly. Did you, did you say Halo Infinite? Yeah, I mean, it's Halo. I mean, quite. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. Um, um, yeah, I'm actually really excited for Halo because, I'm, I don't know. Did Let's you play see. Doom? We should play Doom so we can There's, get Doom external. I mean, we could just play Doom Eternal. There's nothing stop like dude, I don't well, think Doom's don't one know. of those games that we have to play in order. I don't know, man. You never know. Maybe people want us to see oh, it, I found play it. it, so we can crush people's skulls. What's up? Did Apparently, Saturday. Yeah, I saw it. June eighth is uh, EA doing some stuff. You EA. Sunday, Yay. June 9th is when Xbox Bethesda is supposed to do their stuff, which was yesterday. Nice, dude. Cool. Um, Why? Monday, June tenth, which is today. Should have been Ubisoft and Square Enix, and then tomorrow's Nintendo, and then it stops. But then it follows it up by saying that um, E3 continues going from the 11th to 13th. So I have no idea what's happening. Okay, well, apparently we got our days wrong. Apparently we got our days wrong. I'm sad now. I am sad. Sad days. What schedule did I look at? Well, I don't even know. I don't know. Oh, here it is. Was it last week? What is it? Tuesday is Nintendo's E3 Direct, and then Wednesday is to be announced, and then Thursday's the IGN's best shows. Okay, well, apparently we got something <laughs> wrong here. I don't um, know. I don't anyways, know. let's just talk it. about the games anyways. Yeah, let's so, let's do that. We There's, got Ghostwire. Ghostwire. Ghostwire is the creators of Ghostwire. Fears of Evil. Evil, of fear, evil Within. It's the one Evil Within. It's the creators of yes, that. Yes, yes. The guy with the mask. Yeah. He looks that, cool. That looked pretty dope. Um, but it also looked like a scary-ass game that I don't want to play. So, yeah, no shit. Ghostwire is, uh, it brings uh, the Resident Evil director, and he's like, I want to make a game. That's it. He makes, yeah. a, he makes a cool game. Hopefully it's not spooky, because, God, I... Yeah, if worse comes to worse, we play it. Fright Day! Ding, 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 ding. Um, that's gonna be so awful. I don't want to play it, man. It's gonna be all hard. right. Well, um, what about, what about that Dark Souls game? That Dark Souls the game. The creator of the Dark Souls game. I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what it was either. Um, to be honest with you, but it looks pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah, he got some I mean, rums in his head. To be honest here, he's crazy. He's really cool. All right, so <laughs> he's crazy cool. I'm looking for it. I think it's Death Stranding. No, it's not Death Stranding. No, that's PS4 exclusive. Look at all these PS4 exclusives, man. Wow, really dude, it's cool. so cool, dude. Fallout 76 is coming out. Makes me want to buy a PS4. Makes me want to lose my life. Let me blow my top. Blow my top, there you go. Anyways. Uh, yeah, um, we'll come back to it because I'm lazy. Apparently, 
Doom Eternal is coming out, which is why you want to play Doom. Um, they're doing a DLC to Ori, and I bet a lot of people are excited. They're doing DLC to Cuphead, which is a game we could play on Copilot. I bet a lot of people are pissed, and they're like, please don't play that on Copilot, because that would suck. Trust me, it's a hard game. So let's play Copilot because that's let's do it because we like because we hate ourselves. We do hate ourselves. Yep. Um, I don't know what happened. It just broke it. Oh yeah, there's a new Wolfenstein coming out. Wolfenstein Never Young. The first one, second one, third one, however many there is. Yeah, I I will agree. Um, John has. Has he? John and will play that. No, he won't. Mm. But he will. John, Lynn, if you play that, tell me how it is. Because you play, it, I already know you have. Anyways, um, then we have what else do we have? I don't even know, dude. We have that banana game. Oh, yeah. We'll that come, looks we'll come back pretty cool. That. So, all right. Listen, this kind of makes me feel weird. George R. R. Martin teams up with our boy. Um, I don't want to butcher his name, so I have to make sure that I'm not butchering his name. It's Yeah, Miyazaki. That's what I wanted to say. Miyazaki and our boy George R. R. Martin, English and Japanese, they're coming together to make a game called Elder Ring. And boy, does that game look actually dope as hell. Now, here's a problem with that. It's probably going to be hard because Miyazaki makes such classics as Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne. Um, and the game we just quit. And Sekiro, <laughs> a game we just quit. There he's making... <laughs> so, this guy, as much as I fucking hate him, he has some crazy shit going on. His, his, his brain's deranged. And he makes beautiful games, and they're amazing. I hate him because their games are so hard. Can you make one game that's as beautiful as all the others? That's not, I have to only play this game to get good at it. Because that would be amazing. But then he would lose his, uh, his reputation. So he needs to keep yeah. it up and keep releasing. He's back on that grind with the bullshit. Nathan apparently thought Miyazaki didn't even make Sekiro. I thought at first. The reason why I said that is because Sekiro doesn't look like a Dark Souls game. <laughs> it doesn't look like a fucked up world that he has in there. That is true. I mean, there is big fat asses with nice, thick booties. But other than that, there's yeah. nothing else. So according to this, there's also a thing called The Elder Scrolls Blades coming out. What is that? Uh, uh, I, mean, I better be an MMO. If it's not, then I'm going to cry. I think it, it, it appears to be. It's coming out on the Switch. Bethesda's new game showcases this. It's Blades. Uh, yikes. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's just a new thing. Well, because they already got an MMO, so what's the point? They it got... just looks like Elder Scrolls, but new. Yeah. So maybe they released here. Let me, let me go read up on it. Maybe and tell something you. really cool. Maybe it's. Uh, I hope Bethesda didn't do anything wrong because you know there's that one thing that they did and everyone did not like that. What's that? The the app mm-hmm. on the phone. I think. They did not oh like yeah, that. Uh, I do remember everyone not liking that. <laughs> Everybody disliked that. The Elder Scrolls Blades. Oh, it's an update. Is it an update? Yeah. Unless it's, it's do already. People still play that game. We're celebrating E3 with giveaways. Shut up. Get away from me. I don't care. <laughs> Elder Scrolls Blade is coming to Switch. Blades apparently Blades is already a game that's been out. Okay, well, or cool. Something, so uh, we have we have little information about everything we're talking about. Apparently. Yeah, well, what do you want from me? We, we came prepared as heckin', dude. Um, but E3 oh. apparently kind of is happening. So worst comes to worst, tomorrow is Nintendo. I'm excited for Nintendo. Pokemon, maybe a new Zelda. I doubt it because why would they do that soon? They just released um. What is that game? Breath of the Wild, which, by the way... What if they make a new one? Huh? If they make a new it? Zelda, it won't be as good as Breath of the Wild, because Breath of the Wild took them a while. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, it is too bad. Um, Anyway... Maybe, got, maybe they got money hungry, and they just need money now. They're just like... Nintendo? Yeah, here's they Zelda. don't need no fucking money. They just keep releasing games. <laughs> Mario, uh, Smash Brothers, Mario Odyssey, Mario Party, uh, Smash Brothers again. You're shaking the shell. Am I going to I'll that? shake it more. Um, Mario again, Super Mario Maker 2, more Mario, one Zelda for the Switch, Mario all around, Mar- you like Mario Tennis, you want to play some more Mario? I don't Mario. like Mario, okay? Okay. Mario's not cool. Well. He's not cool anymore. We made Metroid. He's dead. We made Metroid, but we, dead. we realized that doing, like, making Metroid for, like, the Switch, we made the Switch to make, like, every game on it, and then we immediately released Metroid only for the three, for the, the Game Boy. The DS, yeah. the 3DS, because they're like, oh, we made the Switch. It's the perfect console for everything. 
And they turned around and looked at their 3DS and realized that that will kill that platform. So they're like, oh, here's an exclusive game that everyone was looking forward to. Only on the 3DS. And everyone was like, oh. So, you know. Good job. Yeah, they were like, ooh, we didn't mean to kill other platforms. It's like, well, you did. So they're, they're fixing it. There's more games being added to the Switch. Switch is blowing up. Switch is going to be around for a while. A lot longer than Xbox One. Yeah. Yes, yes. I mean... Speaking of that... Yeah, you know what? We didn't, we're not going to talk about any PS4 game. Because we don't really have knowledge on that. But the thing is, though, we don't we don't have a shit. PS4 because, We're I mean, poor. we don't have a PS4. So why would we keep tags on something that we don't have? Um, we don't hate it. Yes, I'm an Xbox fanboy, but I'm not going to go up to someone and go, hey, you have PS4, you piece of shit. No, that's not how it works. Um, I'm not gay like that. I'm sorry, I'm not 12. Wow. Yeah, for all you people who are fighting over the console wars, that's just the gayest shit ever. But what about PC Master Race? Didn't they you, wish they had any supporters. Didn't you build your own PC because they you wish said they had, PC Master Race? No, I did not. That's Chris. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's your brother. Chris was like, PC this, PC that. Yeah, Chris, fuck you. Anyways. I don't think Chris um, watches our shit. I don't care if he doesn't or does. He's gonna. I'm gonna All skip right. to this part. 25 and minutes him. and 3 seconds. Not 26 minutes, 3 seconds. I'm gonna show him it. Anyways, but yeah, I don't really care. Uh, Just st- stop hating on each other, dude. You should just love each other now. We're... We it's all we all rejoin now. It's a console. All the consoles are connected now. Just remember that. Uh, well, they are. Oh yeah, PlayStation gave in. Sony got weak. Yeah, weak, well, weakling. Sony yeah, I broke. Love the, I love whenever they were like that though. Yeah, where they're, they're like, like, no, we won't you. do that, and their players are like, we want that though, and they went, we only do what our players want. And they're like, but we want that, and they're like, no, no, well, you guys don't. No, you don't. It's Xbox. Who wants Xbox? Yeah. And we're just like, dude, come over here, and they're like, all right. So now you're here. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, I'll, I'll hug every single one of you that love PS4. I'll I'll accept you with open arms. I don't care. I'll play any games. I want to die. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't care. It's content. That's it. I mean, not like not content, but it's like it's games. We need more games because honestly, like I think we've played too many games. They're just boring, and I've been just cycling through the same games. And then then here comes the hate comment of PS4. We have exclusives, and then yeah, they have Last of Us and Last of Us Two and. Um, other good games, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, that won't rile them. Death Stranding? I don't know what that is. That's the new one with, like, uh, the guy off of uh, Left 4 Dead. I forgot his, for Listen, that thing died really, so quick. Really quick, I'm going to bring it back. Uh, here's how I feel about the new EA games coming out for PlayStation. I don't. The because, EA? Yeah, the EA games. The new three... Or, E3? No, not EA, E3. I was going to say, e- EA, say EA, dude, they're dead. EA is... They killed themselves. They, they buried themselves. They made Apex Legends. Oh That's... my god, Anthem's so cool. Anthem's going to be the greatest game. It died immediately for all of you. Yeah. And it, you know what's funny? Is I told you it was going to die. And then guess what? It died, and they stopped making DLC content and destroyed the whole roadmap. Just so you know. Shout out to EA being good. Remember um that Star Wars game? I don't. Anyway... So, <laughs> uh, E3, there's new E3 games coming out for PlayStation. And the reason I don't care is because they're all like, it's for PlayStation 4. And then they're going to turn around and go, anyway, here's our new PlayStation 5. So, in the long term, when it when they go, here's the EA 5, here's the, the, the PlayStation EA 5. 5. Why are you EA? on EA? I don't know. You I, love EA, don't I you? I love EA. I'm secretly <laughs> an EA fanboy. I love paying to win. Um, no, <laughs> but they're making PlayStation 5 and... When they do that, they're going to probably release bundles going, this game comes out. Because like they're like, here's these new games. And yeah, you could say the new games are going to come with the new PlayStation. I, not all of them, probably. I hope I hope they all do, the new games that are now it's coming out for the new console. But my, my, my favorite thing is people are like, yeah, apparently the PlayStation um, 5 can tell whether if you suck at games or not. All right. You're bad at games. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Might be on your console and telling you that. Yeah, it's. I just buy a new console. It, it <laughs> seems that you're not that good at this game. Would you like to turn us? Would you? Would you like to just turn the difficulty down? And you're like, no. <laughs> Stop! Don't tell me that. I'm trying. <laughs> it's like when Nintendo went through their their era, which I don't think you'll remember, because they went through an era, and they're still kind of in it, to where most of their games, if you play for a while, um, and then you go and save, like one of the biggest ones that I remember is um, it was a Zelda, I think it was um, the one where you're painting. I don't remember. Link Between Worlds. Anyway, every time you save, if you played over an hour, the bird will be like, oh, I saved your game. Would you like to take a break? And I'm like, 
No, it's like you played for a while. It's like they did that in so many games. Where it's like, would you like I to take a break? That. You played a while. It pisses me off. It's like, what do you want me to not play your game? They know we already bought it, so they're like, don't play it. Fuck off. Why are you still playing our game? You already bought a copy, so it's just annoying. Um, I love so that. I hope it's not like it seems like you're struggling here. Would you like to skip this stage or like turn think, down the difficulty? I think the reason why they do that is not because they, it's because they're... Nintendo's trying to be healthy and helpful. No, I don't think it's they're they're really concerned. I think where they sell those consoles and where they mainly sell at, they need that as a disclaimer or they get in trouble for it. You know, you got me there, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's actually the reason. That's annoying. But, that's you annoying. know, that's pretty We're cool. Americans, we're fat. Don't tell me to stamp off of my couch. I'll break Yo, my fat we got, legs. We got McDonald's and shit. Like fat, I'm playing off McDonald's Wi-Fi. I'm sitting in the <laughs> corner playing Zelda. Don't tell me to get up! I want to play my games in peace. You want to go out for a run? No! No! I want to see you play my Zelda and eat some McDonald's. Anyway, welcome to Pokemon Go, which is the game that is all about um, healthy lifestyle. Walk, and you'll, you, we made walking fun. Get in the Follow, car. Get in the car. No, they fixed Kids, get in the car. No, they fixed that. Kids, get in the car. They fixed that? Put it on a fan. <laughs> no, they fixed the fan they, spin. They fixed that, too. Um, they added adventure then just scene. jerk off. Yeah, just jerk off. No, literally, you can do that. Tape <laughs> it, it to your wrist and just jerk off. Well, they made it so easy. You just sit there <laughs> jerking yourself off, and boom, you gain miles. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, what do you do, you know? People are always trying to find loopholes on everything. Who cares? But I will say, uh, I'm excited for it. And you know I'm going to buy the Pokemon Plus Plus, which is for Pokemon Sleep. Where you sleep and you level up your Pokemon. What a day. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's um, I'm really excited for it because, boy, do I love sleep. And most of the time when I sleep, I just... Don't want to like get up. Twenty four hours. That well, yeah, that's true. I do sleep for a he while. He sleeps, wakes up, nothing important's going on. He goes back to sleep. Well, yeah, you're at work, and I don't have anything to do. <laughs> the video's uploaded. There's nothing for me to fix. I go. I sleep. You sleep. I sleep. I sleep. <laughs> but um, nothing's happening. I sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 a lot of the thing. It's gonna put basically a disc and levels up your Pokemon on shit while you sleep. It like. Somehow you set it on your bed and it picks up like the rhythm of your sleep schedule or some shit. I don't know how it That's, works. Uh, yeah, it's weird. We're getting some SAO stuff up in here. Yeah, it's weird. I have no <laughs> idea how it works, so I'm guaranteed. One, I'm going to buy it because it's Pokemon. Two, I want to buy it just to see how it is. What I want to see how this turns out. I want to see what, what it's right? doing. Yeah. They had you like connect it to like your head and everything. My temples? Yeah, and then oh, you like... Oh, that'd be fucked. Then you, then you fell asleep and woke up in Pokemon World. I mean, I would <laughs> love for them... Like, listen, my favorite thing in the world would be if like... I went ahead and I I got like this Pokemon machine and they hook it up to me when I go to sleep and then I go to sleep and then it controls my dream and make it into like a Pokemon s dream because that's all I care about. What like, if you appeared in their world though? I mean that'd be cool. That'd be dope as hell. That'd be amazing. I mean, I would honestly love the captured monsters and make them fight. They're they're not monsters. They're pocket monsters. Anyway, um. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no uh, that's uh, not sponsored. What? Pocket Monsters? That's an actual thing. Yeah, it's Pokemon. Yeah. So, not sponsored. I mean, we said Pokemon not a million sponsored. times. Not sponsored. Right. None of this is sponsored. Po- None of this is sponsored. None of, I mean, yeah. Pocket we, Monsters we was what Pokemon thing. was called before <laughs> coming to America. No, I think there's an actual thing now that's Pocket Monsters. Like, oh, not geez. them by Nintendo. The actual thing that, like, Damn. people went, wow, neat. Let me take that. And Nintendo went... Yeah. All right. <laughs> I like Pokemon Sleep motto. It's Pokemon Sleep. We made sleeping fun. No, you haven't. You made me wake like want to wake up because now I'm excited because how how far my Pikachu leveled up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about sleeping. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I sleep so much. They're like, we're gonna fix people's sleep yeah, schedule. Sleep. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna fucking diddle my Pokemon Go. It's gonna be like, oh, you leveled up Pokemon. I'll be like, sweet. I'm going to roll back over and go back to sleep. No, this is how it's going to be. <laughs> That's how it's going to be. No, this is how it's going to be. You're going to sit there, you're going to fall asleep, and then you're going to wake up, look at it, and you're going to be like, wow, and then you're going to fall asleep again. And then it's going to be like nine hours later, and you're going to wake up, look at it again. It's going to be like, do you need to wake up instead of like, you need to take a break? <laughs> <laughs> you need to wake up. Bro, like, you, are you in a coma? I'm like, nah, man, shut up. <laughs> you need to are wake you depressed? Up. <laughs> you seem depressed. He's sleeping a lot. And I'm like, nah, shut the fuck up. You're annoying. And I roll over and go back to sleep. No, um, I'm I'm really you excited. Know that too much sleep can kill you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're gonna kill people. 
Good. Person dies in their sleep trying to play Pokemon <laughs> sleep. <laughs> Nintendo strikes again <laughs> by <laughs> murdering you, someone. You sweet. sick fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, dude. No, yeah. Um. So, yeah. That, I'm actually excited for everything Pokemon's doing. They're also releasing Pokemon Home, which is just a Pokemon bank. It's a bigger Pokemon bank. It goes on your phone. You can transfer every Pokemon for most of the games. You can have them all on your iPhone. You can... It goes between Pokemon Go, it goes between the new Sword and Shield, it goes between um, Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, um, and then I think from that point on, I'm excited as hell for it, brother. I'm so excited for it, um, for everything Pokemon, I'm excited. Nintendo's gonna, Nintendo's yeah. gonna beat it to death. Um, <laughs> and that's fine. I love it. It's fine beating stuff to When's death. Generation 4's I mean, remake's coming out? Please. I need them. He's crying for help. Please help him. I need help. Help this kid. Anyway. This homeless child. So yeah, that's... Is diamond and pearl, right? Diamond and pearl! <laughs> and platinum. Dude, and platinum. platinum. Ooh. <laughs> Make some remakes. Please. Make some remakes. I would love to see some fucking shit again. I'm so excited. Anyway. Uh, I mean, I think that's all the games that they're... I mean, we exist. talk about movies. Like yeah, that's movies. what I was... We've seen Hail Satan. Planning. We did see Hail Satan. So they released Hail Satan. Over. It's a documentary. Great movie ever. Um, I like that documentary. We seem a little bit biased right off the bat. Well, yeah, because um, I'm gonna play the devil's advocate. I'll say no, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Yeah, you hey. play out the devil's advocate. I'll, I'll fight against you. All right. No, Hail Satan was interesting. It, Jesus is Satan. Yeah. It basically, um, the core thing about it was if the government is putting up. Uh, the Constitution rules or whatever the hell they are. The Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments. So they're putting up the statue of the Ten Commandments. That kind of makes our government like one religion, which they're like, we don't like that. We don't want one religion because the government's supposed to stay out of religion. So their whole plot is to fight against it and get up their own statue. So they take the name Satanism. They don't actually like hail Satan or whatever. They say it a lot. But yeah. they, they don't actually care. They're just like there to like, Basically, keep religion out of our government. It's yeah. not supposed to be there. They, they want to put like multiple religions in the government. That's why they have to. Yeah, they, it's, it's they it, run by Satan because they kind of have to. Because if you go, man, I just want this thing up there. They the government's gonna be like, yeah, fuck no, off, get away. But they, if you're actually running for something like Satanism, sure, is that what you call it? I think it is. Yeah, then 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 it's more of like a a like you know a standpoint that people can take. It's, it's like, religion. oh wow, yeah. So. Another reason why they do it is because Christians is the main one getting in the government. So 85%. they're like, so like Isn't we'll it? play it's something like that, like eighty percent or yeah. something like that. So they're like, we'll play the opposite of Christians just to get in there, which is Satanism. That and because they said being atheist is boring because there's no religion to it. It's just you don't believe. Which I guess that makes sense from a standpoint. But yeah. so their whole goal was it's either um, they don't have their Ten Commandments statue up. Where every religion gets their own statue on the on the, on the lawn of whatever house they're at, and then they're like, "No, eat, eat shit, go away." And they're like, "Well, fuck you." Um, so yeah. the whole movie is a documentary, and personally, I fall asleep at documentaries. I dislike a lot of documentaries. That documentary had me laughing. Um, their whole point is just pissed off Christians, and it, hmm. it, it it's working. It, it worked. They did get pissed in the movie. It was. It was <laughs> they had to cancel some events because of they, it. They did. Yeah. They. I mean, they, they went to the what the one of the they most. Went, one of the most Christian areas, isn't it? No, they went to like one of the big schools. Yeah, one of the most Christian like what school cities. Is in the, it? I, think, I thought it was City. That was Boston, was it not? No, they did go to Boston. They went to Boston. I think they were trying to do like this. The, they went to like um, I don't know. I don't Hold remember on. what it was Keep called. Speaking. But what I did, I I'll, I'll say I am biased about the film because I I don't I don't believe in anything. But I do I do agree with their their points they have in there. So uh, that's pretty neat. Um, I do like how they supported their points too with the videos. They actually showed a video of their points, and I thought it was really good. Um, and then they made the statue. And what I love is the like they got a big following and everything. And the Ten Commandments was was like up like somewhere else. I think they put it somewhere else instead like right by the steps. Right. And someone ran it over. And I really love that part because they just ran it over, and then they went, "We didn't want yeah. that." Well, the thing is, the thing <laughs> that I like about that, not that they ran over the statue, it was that. When they pulled him out and was arresting him, they interviewed him like, why'd you run over it? And he goes, I wasn't drunk. I wasn't on anything. I'm a Christian, and something told me to do it. So it was a Christian on Christian violence. 
It wasn't like a Satanist like, oh, we didn't get our statue, take it down. It was it was another Christian going, something told me to do it. I don't know why. And that's what I like about it because it was like, oh, I thought it was, I fully, like it showed the whole thing and then it talked about him being a Christian. I thought it was going to be a Satanist pissed. And he's like, oh, yeah, they got their statue. Too. And he's like, no, nah, I'm Christian. And I'm like, whoa, that's a blue, blue what out the of blue. It's like Yale or one of those one of those places. They go to yeah. one of the big colleges. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah, I love that though. They just and they get they, kicked out. <laughs> yeah, I love it because because they, they don't go, like them. Yeah, it, it was an okay movie. Um, I would say watch it just because like. Uh, I mean, look. Okay, you should be very open, and by that I mean, I think you should be very open. As by I mean, like you should just take other opinions in and. Whether you like it or not, you should just take them in and be like, okay, I understand your side, but my side's stronger. Yeah. You know? Use Instead it. of being like, fuck you. Go kill yourself. My God's better. <laughs> my God's better. Yeah. Go to hell. <laughs> I would say use it as a debate standpoint because sometimes, often in debates, it's not best to bring your like best interest in mind going, well, we have this. You want uh, the stronger uh, version of debating is learning what your partner or the debate other the person you're debating against has, and then debate against it, which is what I did to Nathan. Yeah, use it. Um, yeah, use yeah, it. yeah. Fuck this kid. Yeah, it, literally. Use, use it. Use learn what learn about the opponent, and then use it against them. So go watch the movie, and then just argue. Be like, well, here's why I don't think you should do that. If you don't care, or just go see the movie. It doesn't matter. Or you could be like me and be like, I don't like documentaries, even that documentary. I don't want to watch documentaries. So be like, all right, cool. Okay, yeah. okay, but like, yeah, we'll come back to the debate story. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll come back to we'll that. Come, why not just tell them? No, we you want to tell it now? It up. I forgot what we were debating against. We were debating on something. Oh, I remember. All right, so a while ago in a history class in high school, me and Nathan were sitting there, and our teacher was like, our history teacher, she was, she was like, hey, you should, uh, you guys, should, everyone pick a partner and debate. Me and Nathan were like, well, we'll pick each other, or I think. Yeah. I think John went with Lane. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, anyway. So we're like, all right, yeah, let's debate. The first, like, week, we're like, what should we debate against? I don't know. Who cares? Then we played cool math games. Yeah. Then <laughs> then later, we're like, oh, we should do uh, tablets versus textbooks in, high, in in schools. Why you should use tablets or textbooks. I don't remember who picked whose side. I don't care. I picked tablets. You picked, picked textbooks. Ta- I don't. I think you picked tablet, and then I to- chose the other thing because I didn't care. Yeah. So then... Uh, Nathan started getting plot points, and I acted like I was doing research. I was like, all right, I was actually doing research, going, okay, that's pretty neat. Cheaper, all the obvious shit that textbooks do. So then, <laughs> throughout the weeks of Nathan doing research, I came to Nathan and was like, Nathan, what do you have? Because I don't have anything. What what strong points do you have on, on tablets? And he told me his strong points, and then I just thought up an argument to counter him. And yeah. then, we, <laughs> then we went and debate, and I just walked in and just counterattacked him. I got a every- fucking C on that. <laughs> And you got a fucking A. I want you to know that. Well, I mean, that's that debate. Was bullshit. That's debate for you. So <laughs> what do you pissed. want from me? Um, and half the kids in our class didn't know shit. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't know how to debate. <laughs> they sucked. But like everything is, you're like, or they're like, she's like, which one are you gonna start off? And like, I chose textbooks. He chose tablets. Nathan, go ahead and be gone. And Nathan was like, here's a point to this. And I was like, here's a counter argument. Well, here's a point to this. I'm like, here's a counter argument. And I got through like my counter arguments or something, isn't didn't I? And then I was like, here's my points. It's cheaper. Uh, if you break it, you can't because it's a textbook. You might rip a page out, but you're just retarded. Uh, so it, it was, it was, <laughs> it was me just being real lowball doing. I was a politician, brother. I went, I went, I, went, I walked up to you and went, "Give me your best points." You went, "All right," and then I just wrote down counterpoints. I didn't know you got a C on that till just now. Yeah, no, I got a C on. It doesn't really matter because I passed the class anyways. Yeah, class but, easy. But hey, Jonathan, I know you got an F and almost failed the class because of me. Whoa! I get. I I read the book and everything and everything, and I did a book report on it. And then you're like, Nathan, I need a book because I don't have one. Oh. So I gave you my book. <laughs> I remember that? <laughs> I gave you my book. You did the research, and then she came over and went, Nathan, um, you 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 and Jonathan have the same book, and I went, Yeah, because Jonathan took my book, threw you immediately under the bus, and. Uh, yeah, she went over to you and then gave you an F, and I was like, oh. Man, fuck you, John. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's talk about another story that happened in that same class, because I feel like, why not? Pussy. Well, it's similar to that. <laughs> yeah. So me and Nathan were sitting next to each other in class. Because we're 12. And we're 12. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> we were. We were of 12 year olds. We were pretty young. I don't remember. No, we were... We were... Yeah, we were 16, 15. Weren't 15, we freshmen 15. in high school? Yeah, we were like... We were, we were, I don't know. So our teacher was like... I don't remember. Passing shit out or something. I think she's passing out tests that were already graded. 
And she was like... No, she was passing out a test. Or some... some she I wasn't passing out a graded one. She was passing out a test because we, we were supposed to take an exam that day. I don't and care. And then she, she, then she threatened us. Threatened us? Yes, because of what think... we did. Okay, all right. So I'll, I'll continue. Yeah. So we're sitting there and she she's passing out these tests. And all, this is all I remember. And she goes, so think of something that you really want in life. And then yeah. me and Nathan, being the fucking young 12-year-olds we were, immediately shotgunning off instantly, <laughs> the whole class talking, so it was all like a bunch of murmuring. Boobs pussy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went, what I really want in life, I said it at the same time you said it, but we said two different things. What I said was, <laughs> a blowjob, lol, and you went, some sex. <laughs> so we said it at the same time, and Miss, our, uh, our teacher, she was like, who said that? Who said that? Thinking about it, I don't think she knew it was us because she did say after we confessed, she was like, I knew it was you. Yeah. I don't think she did. I think she heard it from our side of the classroom because she was willing to throw Lane under the bus. So basically she's like, all right, whoever did that, we're, we're, you're all going to get Fs for the day, blah, 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 if no one confesses. I don't care. If the whole class get Fs, you can't do that. It doesn't matter. So I was just sitting there. I'm like, I don't care. Eat shit. I ain't saying shit. Nathan also thought, I ain't saying shit. Then she was like, I'm going to give F's to everyone, blah, 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 something, something, something. And then the kid behind us, Lane, he was like, I did it, and stands up. I'm like, oh, man, you could have just said nothing, and nothing would have happened. But since you're throwing yourself under the bus, she went, all right, then. And Lane stood up, and I was like, no, nah, no, nah, it was me. I said things. And she was like, I knew it. And I went, you didn't, obviously, <laughs> but that's fine. So she's like, go out in the hall. And I was like, okay. And I stood up. The reason I knew you didn't know is because – you would have sent me and Nathan out. Nathan didn't get in trouble. Nathan was fine. I would yeah. say Nathan's arguably was worse. When you say sex is worse than blowjob, I guess it's equal. Who cares? Yeah, it's pretty equal. Who cares? I mean, it's both sex. We both it's said the something. It's world and one's just... That's true. Be anything. So she's like, go to the hallway. And I was like, all right. And I stood up and left. And then she followed me out or something. She's like, I can't believe you would do that in my classroom. I went, well, I'm in freshman high. I yeah. don't care. <laughs> I want to die. And then... And then later after class, you came up to me and went, well, she, she, I was like, did she say anything to you? And she's like, no, she thought it was just you. I went, like, she's dumb. <laughs> she's fucking yeah. dumb. Um, Gotti. So she made me sit outside in the hallway the whole fucking class period. Since we're on the topic of... One idiot. ...of school and getting in trouble and sex, uh, one time we were in our science class, and, uh, well, being the, un- Im- the immature mind I, I am, there was a... Um, what it looks like to be a pussy in the book except it wasn't a pussy it was just something that looked like it and I laughed at it and I pointed at it in my book and then she's like why are you laughing so you, oh. you know me I, I showed her and then she went alright out in the hallway right. and then okay. so basically I sat out in the hallway and she's she's yelling at me um, telling me that I'm immature then she's like just don't do it again I do remember that and I was just like just standing there like okay whatever right cause you know I'm a virgin, <laughs> but yikes! All right. But yeah, that's just that. I won't give any more stories away because we need those. We'll do them on a different podcasts. Plus, we need to get back to the movie topic. What movies? What else did we watch? Godzilla. Yeah, we seen Godzilla. Do you want me to talk about it, or do you want me to talk? Do you want you to talk, dude? Do you want me to talk about it? I want to talk. I have about one it. word for it. You have one word for it. Terrible. All right, so let me give some context. The first Godzilla was arguably garbage because there's barely any Godzilla. All right, understandable. I haven't seen the first Godzilla because of the reputation it got so fast. Then memes started going around about Godzilla. What is it? King of Monsters? Some shit like that. The new Godzilla just came out. And I saw memes on it. It goes, there's no story in the new Godzilla movie. It's just a bunch of monsters fighting. And I was like, it sounds good. It sounds good to me. I'll go see some fucking monsters fighting. That sounds good shit. Yeah. I'll, I'll judge the CGI. We'll check yeah. it out. So I was actually excited me, and Nathan went, me, me and Nathan went and seen the movie. I've never personally wanted to stand up and leave during a movie. Like, it was not great. Sure. And a lot of people are probably going to be arguing with me. I physically, if my friend, my other, our other friend went with us, paid my ta- my ticket in because he owed me. So, since I didn't pay for the movie, if I paid for my ticket, I probably would have left. I probably would have stood up and left and been like, I'm done. Um, but he paid for my ticket, so we stayed, all three of us. Watching that movie was like watching the worst scenario possible unfold in front of you. I thought we couldn't make a bad movie like that. I It was like the Meg. One. Two. <laughs> one, 
the CGI was okay at the beginning. And it still was okay later at the end. Because Mothra, my favorite. I love Mothra in every Godzilla. She looked magnificent. What happens to her throughout the movie is just triggering. Because it's like, alright. She's not. She's barely in the movie. And when she shows up, she's on screen for a few seconds. Now, like now what? I did like Godzilla because it's blue. You're right. Godzilla looked cool. And then like we got a different shot. And he just looked like a giant lizard. And he looked weird. <laughs> the CGI got worse and worse and worse. And towards the end, it started building up again. But like it was like I was expecting like constant fights, and no like plot happening. It's just like Godzilla. There's other Titans. And I was like, all right, rad. The movie starts off with plot. The first actors are you know acting. Yeah. Throughout the movie, I realized the actors these, are terrible. These actors the are terrible. <laughs> like they don't know how to act. I'm losing my mind because they're also, like awful. They just they they the plot points. They just keep dancing around them, going ah, we don't need to worry about them. And also, whoever wrote the script, I just need you to, like, revise what you're doing. Um, right. Because the script is bad. I mm. want you to know that. Right. Not, not, the, not the actual script, but, like, what they were doing. Like, the, how they sat there and just kind of, like, especially the radiation part. And whoever watched it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Also, the bitch sitting in the, the soccer field. The who does that? It's a baseball field, please. Yeah. Red Sox, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm not a gay fan. Wow, neither am I, because Red Sox, I think, suck. I don't know. I'm not too into I the sports. I really don't. I don't know I'm not baseball. too into the sports. But that was dumb, too. So whoever did that, it was, please. It was, it was very... Get better. Yeah. Just it was, a little bit. It was interesting. So not only was it not a oh. constant bunch of, like, gods fighting each other, Titans, cool stuff. It was like, here's some bad plot with bad acting. Monsters showed up. Also, make up your mind. Monsters going to attack everyone. Uh-oh, Godzilla's here. They're going to fight now. Oh, the lady with the silver disc ran away, sucking off the energy. And now the monster's going to follow that lady, and Godzilla's going to go back into the ocean. The fights lasted, like, five minutes each out of the whole movie. Not even, I don't think. Like, there was a total of, like, 25 minutes of all monsters fighting in that movie, I think. And I'm not counting, like, they're there and they're doing shit in the background. I'm counting, like, scenes where they're, like, actually fighting and shit's happening. Less than 25 minutes. They're constantly there in the background. Yeah. They're not fighting. The plot's getting worse. They're like, oh. Also, there's so many Titans. Titans I've never even heard or seen before. And so the one thing I was like, all right, I'm like, all right, I'm going to see Godzilla because that's the movie. Yeah. Uh, Mothra's going to show up because they, 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 she's on one of the posters. And I'm like, oh, I love Mothra. I can't wait. Yeah. The other third Titan I know of besides the Hydra, which we won't get into because I, I, I'm iffy on him, is King Kong. Apparently, they didn't do shit with King Kong in the movie because they're like, oh, we want him, we want to put him in his the next movie. It's going to be Godzilla versus King Kong. So we can't do anything with him in this movie. They didn't show him. They didn't go, here he is. They're like, King Kong somewhere. Like, they literally, in a news report, it's like, King Kong's fucking shit up over at Skull Island. Anyway, Godzilla's here now. And I'm like, where's King Kong? What? So they, they, they just held him off pretty much for the whole movie until, like, the credits. They're like... All the Titans go to Skull Island for some reason. And I'm like, what? Huh? So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We have 17 Titans, only five in the movie. That That's accurate. <laughs> that's accurate. No, no shit, dude. We only have three doing stuff. Maybe four if you count the pterodactyl, but he kind of exists. Mothra yeah. is also missing most of the movie. Yeah. So we have a total of three at any time. Maybe four if you're looking correctly. Anyway, so it's it's it's... It's bad. Not having high expectations for it, because I was expecting no plot and monster fights. It somehow got lower than my expectations, which is why I'm so pissed. And I'm not negative on movies. Nathan normally plays the negative card, and I play the positive I do. card. I'll, that's how I'm it works. I'm brutally honest with anyone. I I'll be honest stood with up, and I looked at the third friend we went with, and I was like, hey, how did you think of that movie? And he went 50-50. It was okay. It could have been better. I immediately went, that was awful. I want to throw it in the trash. I wish I could stand up and leave. But I watched it all. Some guys behind us were like, that looked amazing. And I'm like, all right, sure. Good job. You get, they must be Godzilla fanboys. Now, on the counterpoint from this, every Godzilla, mo- every Godzilla movie is trash. That hasn't been a good one. Yeah. <laughs> because it's kind of like a joke. Especially the early Godzillas where it's dude just chilling in a suit. Yeah. But when you have cool CGI... And exactly. the only thing wrong is how the plot worked with the actors. Yeah, literally just abuse just, the shit out of just it. Just please, like, try. 
it's like, oh, we made the CGI too good and the, the core yeah. plot's pretty good. Like, we got to make it bad to blend in with the others, so we might as well hire some shitty actors no one's heard about. Uh, there you go. If anything, just Let's make ignore some monsters, plot holes. Just do monsters fighting and then just hire some really bad actors just to do news covers. That's all you need to do. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. That's now, literally all you have that's, to do. That's my rant for Godzilla. Yeah. So let's go. Let's talk about my um, probably favorite animated CG movie of all time. Not of all time. Of this of this year. Which is going to be hard to beat. Because Aladdin. Oh. Aladdin. No. <laughs> Aladdin came out. I heard the CG was awful. <laughs> Lion King is coming out. I'm, or is I'm excited theaters? for that, dude. Um, that I'm has some decent CG. Nathan's that. great to judge like, the CG. Lion King. I fucking love Lion King and I love CG. And that looks fucking fantastic. So I'm 100 percent excited for it because for one, it's fucking Lion King, and for two, it's CG, and I love both those. So I'm fucking excited. But going over to Tommy's topic. Wait, wait. I have something to say about Lion King. No. Lion King. I'm excited for too because Timon and Pumbaa is played by um Seth Rogen and Andre from the Andre Show. I don't really know his name, so I'm sorry. But those two together playing Timon and Simba, um, or not Simba, but Timon and Pumbaa. And then I'm like, wow, we also found out that, what is his name? Donald Our, Donald Glover is or, playing or Childish Simba. Childish Gambino. Childish Gambino you know by that. is acting as Simba. Woo. So I was like, what? So what we're, definitely, we're definitely going to see that movie. Yeah, what a, what a great day. We'll talk about that in one podcast. Yeah, um, whenever we see it. Yeah. And then another CG is Godzilla. And then those are the three. Followed up by... The, probably my personally my best CG movie, car, especially child movie, um, Pokemon Detective Pikachu. I love that movie. It was great. I loved it. <laughs> I brought yep. it back to Pokemon. Yeah, I love it because he just he was fighting kids in the theater. Uh, I was fighting how many kids. Pokemon. This like kid name? named off more Pokemon than me. He didn't make it home. He's dead. He broke his kneecaps in the parking lot. <laughs> Fucking killed him. No, um, it was pretty good. It was a bunch of children. And at first I was thinking like, oh boy, a bunch of children in a theater isn't going to be fun. They're just doing the same thing I was doing. Well, that's that Pokemon. And yeah, that's pretty cool. They weren't actually annoying. I really like that. They weren't really annoying. Um, the movie was great. I do love that one kid though. Which one kid? He just kept going, wow. Oh yeah, he did Wow. Um, wow. And I was like, okay. Personally, one of the things that made me realize this is the world of Pokemon for me is we were starting to watch the movie and I was like, all right, I'm watching the movie. You know, I'm excited. And then it show it like pans down onto their house that they're in, and as it's panning down, some birds fly by. And my first thing was like, "All right, birds." Beyond further inspection, as they landed, I realized those were pidgeys, and there's no animals in this world; they're all Pokemon. And that's when it hit me, and I was like, "Holy shit, this is actually gonna be pretty cool." So then some shit happens, some shit happens. Then the main character ends up going to the city. He has to go to the city. As he gets off the train in the city, and it shows all the Pokemon living in the city and working and all that shit. My I get goosebumps because I'm like this is I did I, I was like like I actually got goosebumps at the theater because I'm like wow Pokemon would live I did with too, humans actually. it was Believe it was not. an amazing scene Snorlax was chilling Machop was directing shit you got birds flying around you just had Pokemon walking down the street blew my mind I was like I wish I was in that yeah. universe out of all the universes we get out of the Infinite Universe theory we got the one where it's a game yeah. we couldn't we couldn't be with them and I was like damn it but. It's all right. It was a good movie. Yeah, I got, um, I got the same. I actually got chills when I was in there too. Right. Because I, I thought it was really cool because I'd like to be in the world like that instead of this shitty hole that we have. Right. Um, Nathan has a counterpoint to the whole movie. He liked it, but, you know, here's one thing you didn't like about it. Oh, I forgot actually. What was it? Um, you said it was too predictable. It was really predictable. Wait, 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 wait. Spoilers for Detective Pikachu coming up. Skip to this timestamp. To ignore spoilers for Detective Pikachu. You mean the end of the video? Shut up! Anyway. Um, um, yeah. so, so, go for it. Well, you know, I, I mean, it's a child, it's children movie, so I, I guess that got brought to my mind. So I, I did guess, bring that up. So I guess it's it, it should be predictable, right? But from when it started, I already was predicting who Mewtwo was and who the fucking villain actually was. Oh! And, that's what you thought was predictable? Yeah, I thought, I all thought that you, was predictable. I thought the thing around Pikachu was predictable. Well, yeah, that was too. Okay, yeah. All that that was wasn't predictable to me because I was in the mindset of a child going, look at Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't know why, but I analyze plot way too much. Maybe that's why I don't like certain movies because I just analyze the plot way too much and I'm not enjoying for what, I, what I have. 
Yeah, Shazam, I did not like either, but that will become another day. You know, I didn't hate it. I, 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 it was okay. I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't, uh, uh comedy and superheroes don't mix for me. What about Deadpool? That's easy. Deadpool? Yeah. I mean, he's, he's expected to be funny though. Is he not? Shazam's expected to be funny. It's a child. I don't. It's <laughs> a child. All right, we'll talk about Shazam another day. Back to Detective really Pikachu. Back to Detective Pikachu. See, Pikachu. This, is, this is why you should know the things. Then you could argue it. See? comes back to the religion thing. You should know the Debates, other... not religion, please. Debates. <laughs> Debating. But it is the religion thing, I guess. Because yeah. you are. we were debating on religion. Anyways, going back to Detective Pikachu, I, thought, I just thought things were very predictable with Mewtwo and the, and the guy. I don't even think we needed to do the... The spoiler thing because I wasn't, I wasn't gonna it. spoil it, but oh. um, because I'm not, I don't really like spoiling it. I'll just but. type, I'll just type up whenever I do the spoiler thing. Saying not really jokes, anyway. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah. but yeah, I I love the movie. Seeing all the Pokemon, <clears throat> I would say, out of like, like I like Fire type, like I love Fire type more than any type of Pokemon. I love it all. Um, personally, out of the movie, if I got to choose a Pokemon, I don't think I would pick a Fire type. Because the two most fucking adorable Pokemon in the whole fucking movie was Trico and Bulbasaur. Fire types looked horrendous, which I guess they're supposed to be like the hard mode of Pokemon. You pick grass for easy, water for medium, and fire for hard. You know, that's how it works. But I don't like grass type. Mm-hmm. Trico was stuck to like the side of a window inside of a hotel. He C-E-V. looked. What? I didn't get his CEV. You made me sad now. I didn't get to see Eevee. Like, yeah, it's just a normal Eevee, not an evolution. Yeah, it's Flareon, shut up. But Sorry. Trico was like stuck against the glass sleeping, and he looked fucking adorable. And they tapped on him and he went, Trico! And I'm like, oh, Trico, I want you! And <laughs> then and then later Bulbasaur shows up, and there's like a million of them. And they're so small and awesome looking. They're like a little fucking onion. You wouldn't take one home. I you wanted one, You would have bought one. I you would have bought I, all I, stock. I would, I would <laughs> definitely choose grass type. I'll buy your old stock, and then he just yeah. takes it home. Greninja kind of looked like an asshole the entire movie, mainly because yep. like they're viewed they as the assholes. villains. <laughs> they are assholes. Um, and then Char- Charizard just, he looked rough. Like he looked like, yeah, I guess because he's a dragon, so they put scales on him over fur. But he looked like scary, which is what I would I like a Pikachu fire type to be. Pretty cute. Pikachu was pretty cute if it wasn't Ryan Reynolds speaking to me. I mean, Ryan yeah. Reynolds is cute. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. But it's just... It's, it's it's something. Um, Apom showed up. They looked fucking nasty to me. I didn't yeah. like the way na- Apoms looked. They looked really they looked all. angry as monkeys. Um, Snorlax, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's all the cool Pokemon. Just Snorlax grass type for the dope, win dude. in real life. I would I would types. go up to Snorlax and touch his belly. I would I would sleep with it. Yeah, not, not like fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, I think that's a good spot. In the yeah. Podcast. So we'll see you guys uh, next time in the vault. Yeah. With uh, other shit, probably more movie Wacky topics, Wednesday. but we also have oh, not podcast. Oh, okay, so yeah, we'll see you next podcast. If you just watch our podcast, we'll see you next time in the vault with the podcast of, of whatever we have that day because we last minute. Hell yeah! Shut the fuck up. And then uh, we'll see if you watch our videos daily. We'll see you on Wednesday with Wacky Wednesday, and then we got. And if you watch our Thursday... Thursday's the last episode of Sakura. Keep in mind. Yep. All right, I think that's it. I think we right, yep. get the gist. See you back in the vault. Bye! Bye! I've been talking to the man sitting on my left shoulder. He said everything just gets worse when you're older. I just put up to the function, can